Welcome, everybody, to All About Articulation, where we do a deeper dive in, into the articulation of some of your favorite action figures while glossing over things like sculpt, paint apps, character history, accessories, because I suck at that. And there are already so many great reviews on YouTube who do that already, so I don't want to waste your time. This is a review of the Hasbro Marvel Legends Warbird. She's basically, uh, and oh yeah, Target exclusive Warbird. She's basically uh, a Miss Marvel. Captain Marvel, just another name, another costume. Is this figure worth your cash? Stay tuned. But if you want to jump straight ahead to the articulation portion of this video, feel free to click the timestamp in the description below. Okay. My thoughts. Well, uh, <laughs> this has not been a good year for me for Marvel Legends. I'm going to be honest. I've returned or sold a lot of Marvel Legends figures and Hasbro in general that were released in 2024. Uh, I've been collecting a few years now and I just know like almost immediately if something is going to meet my my criteria for a figure and and when it's not uh, I kind of know pretty pretty quickly from the the quality of plastic materials to articulation and poses and X factors like feel and weight in hand um, I can just tell sometimes it's rare it's rare, but sometimes a figure that doesn't initially wow me, but it can grow on me and I decide to keep it anyway. But more or less, I know pretty quickly the figure, if it's a figure that I like. And Warbird, it's close, but it's, it's going back to the store. Why? Why? Okay. A lot of you guys are going to hate me on this, I know, because I know a lot of people, Marvel Legends has a lot of fans, but... And I don't hate you. I don't argue with you guys. Marvel, Marvel Legends are make good figures when they want to. But there are some things about this figure that I do like. And I do appreciate. But not enough to keep. Warbird is, is on a, the newly highly articulated Black Widow body. With true butterfly joints. And that's great. I mean, these butterfly joints are, are pretty fantastic. And it's got the lower ab crunch hinge. If you can see that below the uh, the sachet, so you got that, and uh, it's got double jointed elbows, which is fantastic. And I know I have to say that because for years Marvel Legends would not give double jointed elbows for their female figures, so now they are pretty much giving double jointed elbows for their female figures. It's about time, and it's pinless all the way around. So that those are pluses right off the bat. No hate, no no shame there. However, I always say, points of articulation does not equal good articulation if every point of articulation isn't good. Range of articulation is more important than the number of points of articulation. For example, if you have a double jointed elbow, but the elbow itself doesn't bend past 90 degrees, then what the helicopter does that do for me? You know? How is that better than a single jointed elbow that can bend to 45 degrees, for example? And I mean, like, for example, here's uh, the SH Figure Arts Street Fighter Guile figure that I reviewed recently. He's got double jointed elbows, right? But when you bend it, it doesn't go, it barely goes past 90 degrees. And that's a double jointed elbow. However, here's the SH Figure Arts Chun Li figure. Okay, and it's got single jointed elbows, but look how deep that bend goes. It goes to 45. So you got a double jointed elbow here, you got a single jointed elbow here, but the range of articulation here is so much better than here. Likewise, for the Star Wars uh, Black Series Darth Vader, single jointed elbow, right? But look how far. Look how deep that bend, that bend goes, way past 45 degrees on a single joint. So, just to reiterate the point, it's not about points of articulation; it's about range of articulation. I know some of you guys are like, no, no kidding, uh, but you know, I feel the need to repeat myself anyway because I want to be thorough, right? What's wrong with being thorough? Okay, sorry. Back to Warbird, and that's what I mean. Marvel Legends can be so frustrating with their articulation logic. They clearly can provide good range when they want to, but they do it in the oddest places and many times in the most 
anatomically incorrect ways. First, the neck. Okay. Now, I'm not taking points off for this, but it just bears mentioning. Because characters with long hair will always, as it stands in 2024, long hair will always hinder articulation because of the thick chunk of plastic of hair. Until the industry can figure out a way to either make the hair softer into a rubbery plastic that will allow the head to bend back and up, you know? Uh, that's what we're stuck with. Thick chunk, so thick plastic, unforgiving hair. And Warbird suffers from this. She just cannot look up. You know, and a flight character that cannot look up is... Uh, it's just frustrating. You know, but again, that's not necessarily Hasbro's fault here entirely. Although some other toy companies have used softer, rubbery plastic for hair that would allow some better better neck articulation. Hasbro is not one of them. And another point of frustration slash I don't get it ism is Marvel Legends loves using that new that new dumbbell joint for the neck these days. Um, let me see if I could find one example for you. Here's the new Bucky Cap. And as you see, the neck it's on that new ball joint. No hinge. So, Bucky Cap can't look up too far. That's about as far as, as far up as he can look. As opposed to, say, Cable, who's got the hinge, he can look all the way up. That's fantastic. Bucky Cap can only look that far up. There's your difference. So, Marvel Legends now, they love using that, that new ball joint. On Warbird, she has the the, the hinge. The, they gave us the old school hinge. So a figure that can look up via neck hinge can't look up because of the hair. If there was ever a figure that should have the new ball the new ball joint neck, it would be Warbird. And this is frustrating because why didn't they give us that? on the new Iron Fist in the Luke Cage 2-pack. Why didn't that figure have this neck hinge? That was one. That was my one gripe with that Iron Fist figure. And I probably would have kept that Iron Fist, the one I reviewed uh, I reviewed that earlier. That, that link is, uh, we'll put that link right over here if you want to check that video out. They should have swapped necks. Warbird can't look up anyway because of all that hair. Give her that stupid new ball joint neck and give Iron Fist a martial artist who should be looking up the, the neck hinge. Problem solved, but they didn't do it. That's just so frustrating. Like, why do they, the decisions that Marvel Legends make sometimes, or Hasbro, why do they make these decisions? I don't understand it. Well, you know, I'm not gonna tell Hasbro how to do business, but they can't tell me how to be a consumer. So, you know, if they just done that, they would have made um, 60 bucks off me. It's just, uh, and another point of frustration, and this is a, as old as time, but it bears repeating. Warbird can bend backwards way more than she can ab crunch forward. And I, I, I absolutely hate that. Look how far back she can bend. Look how far back she can bend. You know? Look at that. That's a fantastic back extension. And I wouldn't have a problem with that if not for the fact that this is how, this is how far forward she can bend. That's it. All right, and you, and you always had to keep the hips still because people sometimes, you know, you don't want to confuse yourself with, oh, look, she can bend forward that far. No, you're utilizing the hips. The hips are doing all the work. You got to isolate the hips and make her bend forward. That's it. That's about far forward she can bend, but she can bend far back that much. It's like at an Olympic gymnast level. Why? Why can't she crunch forward as well as she can extend backwards? That's just more frustration. If it were reversed, if she could bend forward that much, if she, if she could, if this was if this was her forward crunch, this would be fantastic. And then you have her extend her back that much. But no, this is this is what we're this is what we're dealing with. So it's just like, <laughs> you know, if, 
when is when is it when is a human being ever gonna do this? I don't know. Ah, <sighs> but I am a fair person. I'm going to point out some positives as well. And so yeah, the butterfly joints are great. I mean, really, just like I mean, look at the range of these butterfly joints. She can cross her wrists. Oh, let me take off the head to show you. That's fantastic, fantastic for a for a female figure that you can you can cross your cross your arms to that to that degree using your butterfly joints. That's fantastic. So I'm not gonna. I'm not just gonna paint a, a one-sided picture here. All right, but anyway, we're uh, we're already into the articulation. Let's just jump into the articulation portion now. So, yeah, she's got the uh, one point of articulation in the neck. Um, the, it's the ball joint with the hinge, so she can look down that far because of the hinge. But because of the hair, she can't look any further back than that. She has a. Uh, she can hit a T pose. There you go. Okay. And uh, to further illustrate her butterfly joints, she can pull her arms that far back, which is really fantastic. Not Mr. Fantastic, just really fantastic. She can, of course, cross her wrists. That's really good. That's really good. Two points of articulation on this new um, Black Widow body. So you've got a ball joint up top. you got the... Ab hinge in the bottom, but the hinge can only go as far down as that. Forward crunch, and you can only it can only it can extend much, back much further. And she can isolating for the top ball hinge. She can only crunch that far forward, and she can extend the top ball joint that far back. So together in unison, she can crunch forward that far forward, but she can extend her back that far back. Anyway, no drop down hips, uh, but she can kick forward that that much. Uh, she can't kick back too far because of the uh, the butt sculpt. So that's about as far back as she can kick. She can do uh, a split about that much. Not too far down. She's got a, a thigh swivel that goes all the way around. We know how that works. No boot swivel. She's got double jointed knees. That can almost... Eh, close. Close to kicking her own butt. Butt to heel. Close. She's got good ankle pivot. And she could split so yeah that's it thanks for watching guys